Hey everybody, uh, this is part one of the series on making your ascend faster and um, I originally made a really long video on installing CM7 uh, I didn't think anybody wanted to watch all that so I'm going to be doing it in smaller parts because uh, then you can decide where you want to go from where uh, so in this part we're going to be uh, rooting our phone um, as you can see we got stock um, Android 2.1 on here. I mean, this is bone stock straight from Cricut. And I'll show you here. Mount phone. And you'll see that's 2.1. Um, we're going to be installing uh, Z4 root. Z4 root is no longer on the market. Um, there's a link in the description. You can just pop that right into your browser, your phone, download it straight to your phone. Um, see, I was looking at Walmart for some light bulbs. But right, we'll put in the address here. That's tiny cc slash dancast. Z4 root. And you just pop that right into your browser or your phone. Um, I'm on Wi Fi, so this will be zipping right along. As you can see, I've already downloaded it, actually. Um, and it'll give you the APK right there. And if we go ahead and we select the APK, um, for security reasons, it asks you to allow unknown sources. And once we allow the unknown sources, we go ahead and do this. And ask if you want to install it. You say install. And it takes a minute here. And once that's installed, we're going to open it. Now you have a couple options here. You're going to have temporary root and permanent root. Uh, permanent root does work great on the Ascend. So we're going to say permanent root. Um, now it's going to give you an error saying you need to enable USB debugging. Uh, that was in application settings, development. It shows you right through it here. USB debugging. Do you want to allow that? Yes. And we back out. And we're going to go back to the app again. All the way at the bottom, Z4 root. and install permanent root um, takes just a minute here and when it's done it's gonna reboot and I'll go ahead and cut while it's rebooting. And there we go. Reboot is complete. And your phone is now rooted. Um, anything that requires super user permissions, uh, you need to be rooted for that. And um, as you can see, it installed something called super user. Um, so it can give permissions to install stuff like that. Um, and the next step in installing CM7 is going to be the Clockwork Recovery Mod, and you'll be able to see that in the next video. The Clockwork Recovery Mod, um, you have to be rooted, you have to have super user permission for. So, now that we have the phone rooted, um, we'll be ready to do the next video. We'll see you next time.